of my employees did not. Why should I believe that Jesus Jesus was resurrected? Because the historical evidence is that okay, he really died medical, and he really rose from the dead. You give me some medical records and I'll believe it, okay? You show me Jesus Christ's medical chart, I'll, be, I'll buy into it. I'll be a Christian to date. Ma'am, they didn't keep medical records in the first century. Oh, that's so convenient, isn't that? That's wonderful. No, rather, it's real convenient for you to say, knowing full well they didn't keep medical records in the first century, it's so convenient for you to say, all right, if, if you give me the medical records, then I'll believe. Talk about convenient. Give me a break. Come on, man, let's be honest. How convenient of you to say, unless we have it on Polaroid film, I can't believe it knowing full well they didn't have Polaroid film in the first century. How convenient of you to say, well, show me the medical records from NYU Hospital, and then I'll believe Jesus rose from the dead, knowing full well NYU Hospital did not exist in the first century. Come on, man. Homer, Herodotus, Sophocles, Plato, Aristotle, show me the medical records for them, will you? Historical knowledge is not based on medical records, ma'am. It's based on the trustworthiness of eyewitness testimony. And the eyewitnesses is that Herodotus and Aristotle and Cicero and Virgil really lived. They're not just figments of people's fertile imagination. And the historical evidence is that Jesus really lived, really died, and really rose from the dead. And eyewitnesses saw him risen from the dead. And they wrote what they saw. That's historical knowledge.